This is Motor Yacht Maverick, the first Flexplorer 146 from CDM, a long-range explorer yacht built for serious adventure. With an exterior designed by Hydrotech, her robust displacement hull includes a 22mm ice belt, both above and below the waterline. Maverick is equipped with zero-speed stabilizers and twin Caterpillar C32 ACERT engines, ready to embark on a seven-year global voyage. More on that later on in the video. With unrestricted navigation, she boasts an LOA of 44.3 meters, a beam of 8.6 meters, and a draft of 2.7 meters. She carries 64,436 liters, or 14,174 gallons of fuel, and 9,916 liters, or around 2,181 gallons of fresh water, making her well prepared for long distance voyages. So guys, welcome back to the channel. This is a boat that I've really, really been looking forward uh, to getting on board and showing you around. Uh, before I start the video, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Maria at CDM uh, for letting me come on board this boat and film it before the boat show opens. So we've got about 30 minutes, 40 minutes to show you around and I'm gonna try and show you as much of the boat as possible. She's absolutely stunning, very, very, awe-inspiring, very spectacular in terms of her capabilities. But anyway, I'm gonna show you all that in a minute. Before I do, please don't forget to give the video a like, and please don't forget to subscribe as well. Uh, it's really important if you are watching this, if you can just hit that subscribe button, I really would appreciate it. But anyway, let's crack on with the yacht tour. So good morning, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to a very sunny can. I am incredibly lucky to be on board this absolutely stunning Explorer Yacht Maverick. So the show is due to start in about 40 minutes uh, and CDM have allowed me to come on board and shoot some footage before the show starts. So probably got around 30 minutes to walk around this incredible boat and show you some of the stunning features on board. Starting of course with this part of the vessel, the aft deck, the boat deck. As you can see, a huge A-frame up there, which is made out of carbon fibre, believe it or not. So that is obviously launch, used to launch the tender, recover the tender, and when it's not in use and it's stowed away, it sits flush with the deck. And you can see here, just about see where the openings are that open up and allow that A-frame to be stowed away. So like I say, it is flush with the deck. The A-frame itself is made from carbon fibre and has a lifting capacity of four tonnes and spans 10.6 metres. But at the moment, we've got lots of modular furniture out here. So this area can be set up pretty much according to uh, the owner's wishes, depending on what the boat's being used for and whereabouts the boat is. But look at that, check out the amount of space up here. All right, let's spin around. Over here on the port side, it's got a bar serving area. Plenty of storage underneath that as well. I will be taking you down into the engine room, but we'll do that a little bit later on during the tour. Over here, starboard side, some more seating. And look, if we walk through here, see the name there, Maverick. I'll show you, look, got a TV over there on that bulkhead, recess into the bulkhead. And I'm guessing that those our heaters up there as well, look, in the deck head, flush with the deck head. But yeah, very, very impressive. Obviously over here, port side deck. Might take you down there a little bit later on if you've got enough time. We'll walk through these massive doors, look, and into the saloon, which really is an informal kind of seating area to sit back and relax. Enjoy the view thanks to that massive window. Check out the size of that window. You can just imagine what it's like when you're sat here, surrounded by this absolutely top-notch speaker system and looking out of that window to the seascape. Look at that. There's so many features on this boat which I've never come across before on the Explorer yachts that I've been on. Um, you know, one of the things as well, I mean, this boat nearly has a range of up to sort of 7,000 nautical miles. I'll give you all the exact details a little bit later on. But yeah, this is a true explorer yacht, built and designed for true expedition type exploring. Over here on the port side, this feature here, 
is a sink. So we have a sink there, and this opens up as well. That slides open. I'm not going to open that because obviously they're getting ready for the boat show, and I don't want to start moving stuff around. But uh, some storage up there for all of your tipples, your glasses, a fridge over here your water and beers. So literally, if you're sitting over here, enjoying the entertainment system and you fancy a quick beer or a glass of champagne, you only have to walk a few feet to get what you want. Right, let's move forward over here on the port side where we find the galley. Big, open, spacious galley. Obviously a massive window over here on the port side. So when the chef is cooking up that meal, you also get to enjoy this fantastic view. Obviously over here an induction hob, a cooker. But one of the things that I noticed in this galley, and I've never seen this before, behind this panel is a large walk-in fridge freezer. It's absolutely huge. I think, there we go, look, open that up. So the chef, as and when they need to get some additional provisions, all they have to do is walk over here and check out the amount of cold storage space in here. You know, often you find that areas like this are below deck, so the, you know the chef and the crew have to descend down into a lower deck to get the provisions, but not on here. Literally, it's right next to the galley. And obviously a huge freezer in there as well. Right, let's shut that back up and then close that and look coffee machine over there but yeah check out that galley and of course the man himself Tom Gru's maverick I can definitely appreciate the uh, you know the reference to the aircraft carrier having served on an aircraft carrier myself for a couple of years you know, it's a really, really good amount of nostalgia on here, walking around with all the pictures of, you know, Tom Cruise coming out of his fighter jet there, look. Here I am back in 1997 on board HMS Sheffield with a US aircraft carrier in the background during a joint exercise. It's memories like this that make the name Maverick resonate with me. Right, anyway, let's head forward. And what I might do is, if I send up these stairs over here, I'll take you up into the owner's deck. So this entire deck is dedicated to the owner uh, and one of his young sons as well. And I'll show you where one of the sons stays on this part of the deck. But look, check this out. So the owners as well, if they want to grab a quick coffee, they've got their own coffee machine here. They've even got their own induction hob there as well and a sink. And look, I know behind one of these, look, they've got their own washer dryer as well. So they're very, very hands-on owners, uh, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Move through into this area here. Obviously, it's almost like an open walk-in wardrobe. If I walk over onto the starboard side, Prepare to be blown away by one of the best full beam master cabins I have seen on an explore yacht. Just imagine waking up during a calm Atlantic crossing to this view. But check out that view. I love the fact that these huge windows are forward raking as well. You know, it really harps back to the explore yacht genre of this boat. Of course, if the owners want to as well, they can access the port and the starboard side deck. Thanks to those massive doors. And look, they have all this area to themselves. Some seating out there on the port side, some more seating over there on the starboard side as well. As you can see, all the ground tackle for the anchor gear up forward. Another thing that I love about this boat is the lighting. I would love to be on board here at night to see what it looks like all lit up at night. I can imagine it's absolutely spectacular because you're surrounded by so much glass as well. Literally everywhere you walk around this part of the owner's deck, you are seamlessly connected to your surroundings. And you'll notice as well, as you walk through there, this can be partitioned off as well. So you can close that if you want to. And there is again the man himself. And look, another big window there. 
And what a place to have your bath. Check that out. You can just imagine being in your bath, enjoying the view, thanks to these massive windows that surround this area. More storage over here on this bulkhead. Massive sink over there, look. And of course, if I spin around now and show you the outside area of this part of the owner's deck, I love this swinging sesse, look at that. And obviously more seating over there. My subscribers have probably noticed by now that I always pay close attention to lighting on board. In my opinion, well-placed ambient lighting can really help to calm your mind and create the right atmosphere. And on Maverick, the lighting is exceptionally well thought out. Check out the width of the side deck as well. If we walk along the port side deck here, on the owner's deck, look at this, look how much space you get here. And look how thick and sturdy these bulwarks are. And of course, we've got some more glass in there as well. So you get a pretty much uninterrupted view when you're laying in bed and you want to kind of look out. Absolutely fantastic. And here we have the bow, obviously, with the seating that we saw a minute ago when we were back behind that area here. And look, you step down into the business end so the crew can crack on with what they need to do slightly out of the line of sight of the uh, owner if the owner is up here enjoying the view whilst they're pulling up or deploying the anchor but look if i walk right up to the bow here and spin around you get a really really good view of the superstructure here look at that absolutely stunning and we're going to go up there in a minute so we can actually go all the way up into the crow's nest uh, and when we are up there we will be at the highest point in the yacht show so yeah i can't wait to show you up there but first let's head back into the master suite because i want to take you down into the guest accommodation so we walk around this huge side deck spin left in fact what i'll do whilst i'm up here let me take you up these steps now so i get this area covered before the show starts I'm really conscious of the fact when you're at these boat shows, people don't want to be on camera, which I completely understand. So I want to try and get as much done as possible. So right over here on the port side, seating area, of course, TV recessed into the bulkhead, bar over here. And of course, we have some more heaters recessed into the overhead so you can still enjoy the outdoor areas in the colder climates. Meanwhile, on the starboard side of this deck, we find this fantastic seating area. Just imagine being sat here enjoying the view during rough passages. This would definitely be one of my favorite spots on board. And look, another jacuzzi over there. Check that out with some additional sun pads on either side. Obviously life rafts over there on the starboard side. And of course, over on the port side, Another lounging area and more life rafts. But look, if I walk over here and peer over, you get a really good sense of just how much space the aft deck has. And of course, that massive A-frame. If I spin around now and face forward, give you a quick look at that radar mast. You'll notice over here on the port side and over there on the starboard side, if you love fighter jets and you're a big fan of Top Gun, uh, like many of us are, what do they resemble? I'll give you a second. They do, of course, represent the vertical stabilizers on the legendary F-14 Tomcat. What an absolutely fantastic feature. I love it. Coming to the radar mast itself, look, two huge radars, Starlink, two Starlink antennas as well. One over there on the port side, one over there on the starboard side. I'm guessing that's a fluor pod up there. But let's head up there now. Now, one thing I'm not going to film, because the crew are on board, is the crew accommodation. Because I don't want to go down there because they are living on board. So we'll keep that area to your imagination. But look, check this out. 
as you walk through the radar mast and we find this seating area. Look at this, so seating, L-shaped seating over there on the port side, more L-shaped seating over there on the starboard side. But yeah, we are at the highest point in the show, so it'd be rude of me not to quickly show you around so you get to see this very unique view of the yacht show. Yeah, check that out. And look, if we look over here, this is the view you get when you're up here, underway. Imagine that, imagine being up here underway at this high vantage point, just how much you'll be able to see. And look, there's that massive radar, check that out. Helicopter coming into land, I wonder if that's Mr. Cruz himself. Come to check out his namesake. I mean, I've never met Tom Cruise, but I can imagine if he was on board this boat, he would absolutely love it. Right, let's descend back down the steps, keeping one hand on something that I can grab onto, the camera in the other hand. So what I want to do now is try and remember how I get down into the guest accommodation. So I think we've got about 20 minutes before the show actually starts. So back onto the owner's deck. Come back down this set of stairs. Back onto the aft deck again. And if I spin around, back into the saloon back into that air conditioning as well. I mean, it's only half past nine, but already it's too warm for me. Right, let's walk along here. Of course, we will go up in the bridge. And I'll show you the bridge in the engine room. But here is a VIP stateroom. Look at this, full beam VIP stateroom. TV recess into the bulkhead over there. Walk-in wardrobe over there on the starboard side. And here we have a desk area so you can catch up with your work whilst also taking advantage of that amazing view thanks to that huge window. Over here on the port side, lounging area over here look, so get up out of bed and sit here, enjoy a coffee whilst enjoying the view. And if we move forward, here we have the ensuite, massive shower over here on the port side. Obviously, rainhead shower, standard. Handheld shower. Obviously, the sink. Mirrors give you a standard Royal Navy salute, as you were. And now here we have the head in here. Very, very nice, very big, lots of space. And check out how much headroom you've got. Look, you can probably see just how much space you've got between the top of my head and the deck head. So yeah, this is the uh, VIP stateroom, full beam VIP stateroom. Now from memory, I head off, descend down these steps, and here we find the guest accommodation. So, over here on the starboard side, twin cabin. Again, big window over there, plenty of space. I'm guessing we've got a Pullman up there as well, look. TV recessed into that bulkhead. So when you're in bed, you can relax and enjoy Top Gun. Watching Top Gun in your bed on board Maverick. Wow, what a surreal experience that must be. Obviously en suite, toilet over here. Large shower over here, look. And rain head, and again, great use of lighting all around this boat. You know, my regular viewers and subscribers know just how much I appreciate the lighting on board boats like this, just because it really, really does set the scene. The other thing as well, check out how thick these doors are down here. Right, let's move over onto the second cabin down here, another single. Again, pretty much the same layout as the other cabin we, just, we were in a minute ago. Plenty of storage, of course. So the owner and his family actually will be staying on this boat for a long period of time. Um, and I'll show you when we go up into the bridge deck in a minute, 
there's a screen up there that shows the route that they've got planned. Uh, and you're going to be blown away. You know, this boat is really, really going to be used to its full potential, which I think is absolutely fantastic because that's what these boats are all about. And I love how popular Explore Yachts are at the moment because obviously Explore Yachts, they're my thing. I absolutely love them. But anyway, back to the boat. Over here, look, coffee machine and a sink as well, look. So if you want to grab a quick coffee, you can do that. Um, Maria from CDM, we were talking earlier on when she was showing me around and she was saying that the owners are very much hands-on, which is why when we were up on the owner's deck, you saw they had their own washer dryer, their own coffee machine up there. Um, so yeah, I think that is, um, you know, hats off to them, the fact they are so hands-on. So over here, obviously we have double, I like the fact that we've got a nice working space over there as well. So you can set your computer up there, catch up with some work or some studying. Massive TV recessed into the bulkhead there, look. And again, another huge window. And there he is again, look, the man himself. I'll show you the ensuite here. So twin sink in there. A huge shower over there, look. Again, another window, another big rain head. Detachable handheld as well. And look, yeah, look at this. Very, very nice, very nice colors. I love the colors down here. Again, I love the lighting, the amount of head space, how thick these doors are as well. Plenty of hanging locker space. And if I move through here, we have another double suite. So look, we have the computer set up over there. Another massive TV recessed into the bulkhead. Again, a huge window look. I'll quickly show you this on suite as well. Again, another twin sink in there, double sink. Huge shower. And look, big mirrors. I'll give you another Royal Navy salute. Be rude not to especially when you are on board Maverick. You can never have too many salutes. Now, one of the things I want to show you, obviously you notice how thick these doors are. And look, if we look down here, you see this little red switch there, look. So when that door is shut, there's a seal on the bottom of the door that expands. So you get complete noise isolation. So when these doors are shut with that seal down that comes down automatically thanks to this Red switch here, acoustically, you're pretty much cut off. And look, you'll notice here we have a watertight door. So yeah, once that, once that is shut, this area becomes watertight. Clearly, I'm not gonna press those buttons, so I don't wanna shut that. No doubt, some alarms would sound somewhere on the bridge. Open this up. We have a look at the server room there. I'd say that is, yeah, a server room. Very, very impressive. Right, let me now find my way up onto the bridge and I'll show you up there. Once we've had a look around the bridge, we're head down into the engine room. So I think we're pretty much running on schedule to finish the yacht tour before the show starts. Right, so. Get my bearings okay so this is obviously the owner's deck so we send this flight of stairs over here up onto the bridge and look at that huge window there look as you come up the steps okay so here we have the bridge deck over here look ship's office and earlier on in the uh, yacht tour video i was saying to you about you know, this boat is going to be used for some serious, serious cruising. But here you can see the route plan, seven year long expedition. This map displays only the first four and a half years, but look, let's check that out. Wow, what an itinerary that is. Obviously going up through Northwest Passage as well, west coast of Alaska, west coast of USA, Wow, imagine being the crew on board this boat. Absolutely fantastic. BHF radio's over there, look. 
And if I spin around, we have the captain's cabin here. I'll give you a quick look. Obviously the captain does live on board with the crew, so I don't wanna go in there and start rummaging through his stuff. But spin around, head forward. And here we have the bridge. So we have no fewer than five multifunction, large multifunction displays here. They're up on the brow. Furuno VHF. Some more multifunction displays, a wind speed and direction indicator and a speed log. Back down here, all the controls. Obviously steering wheel there, look. Fire detection system down there, emergency stop switch. Throttle control levers for the twin engines. And we're obviously going to go down there in a second so I can show you around that. And here we have look, CCTV so you can pretty much see all parts of the boat. Remember the crew over there, look, doing a bit of wash down before the show starts. What time is it? Well, 20 to 10, so we're doing okay for time. But yeah, yeah, check out the bridge. Absolutely love it. Forward raking windows. Each one of these windows has a blind that can be pulled down. So if you're an well, not anchor, but if you're tied up alongside and you want to close all this down, you can do. Big old doors over there. Look, this one obviously leads out onto the starboard side deck. And look, there's where the captain does his stuff, look, out there. Starboard bridge wing. I'll walk back over here, show you over onto the port bridge wing. Again, so I'm guessing under there is where you have the additional controls. So when you're bringing the boat alongside, the captain gets a fantastic view. Over the years, I have had the opportunity to check out hundreds of different bridges, wheelhouses and pilot's houses. For me, they are always one of my favourite places to film. And as you would expect with a long range autonomous explore yacht like Maverick, you have everything you would possibly need in this bridge to travel to very remote parts of the planet. I like the fact that when you are on this bridge, you also have the opportunity to sit down and watch proceedings as they unfold thanks to the seating area behind the main helm station. Back here, we also have a Furuno echo sounder and a tank level indicator showing the various levels of the tanks on board. So that is the bridge. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comments below. Clearly, I'm blown away by it. I absolutely love it up here. I think if I was going to be a crew member on board this boat, I'd probably say to the owners, look, just let me sleep maybe on the floor down there. I'd be quite happy to sleep up here, spend all my time up on the bridge. Okay, right, let's try and find the engine room. Obviously, we've been out there, so I'm not going to go back out there again. Instead, I'm going to descend down these steps. Now, the engine room, as you'd expect, on a boat like this, built by CDM, is very, very impressive. This cabin here, this is where one of the owner's son stays, the youngest son. And I love the fact they've got their son on the same deck as them. But yeah, wow, what a cabin. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, you've got these here, so when it is rough, your little man isn't going to fall out of his bed. And look, USB-C charger over there, look. Absolutely fantastic, kids zone. I bet my son and daughter would love it in here. They really, really would. Right, anyway, let's go back out onto the aft section of the owner's deck, back down these steps, and we will go and find the engine room. And I hope there's not too much that I've missed out, as I say. Time is against us at the moment because the show does start in 15 minutes. But obviously it'd be rude of me not to come and show you into the engine room. Obviously down here, beach club look. Descend down these steps, spin around. I'll show you that you've got a seating area over here look. Another seating area over there on the port side. And down here, we have a gym. So you can come down here, do a workout. Obviously you've got exercise bike here, seating area here and through there. So on the boat deck, there is a hatch that lowers, moves over to the right and reveals 
this swimming pool, which obviously you can see here. So it's closed at the moment, obviously. But once open, the aft deck reveals this hidden gem, perfect for a quick dip while taking in the incredible surroundings. Over here on the port side, got a sink. And obviously over here, we have a seating area. And when you're sat down here, there is a screen that is recessed into the deck head uh, and that lowers and turns this area into almost like a mini cinema. But if I show you over here on the port side, got the laundry. So three washers, three dryers, escape hatch up there, leads up onto that vast, vast boat deck. And I'll give you a sneak peek into the engine room, or the entrance to the engine room. So we're gonna head back aft, turn left, past the exercise bike, past the mini gym, through that watertight door. And look, over here on the port side, we have all the dive gear over here on the starboard side, a water maker, which is obviously outside of the engine room. Again, look, big watertight door there. And here we have the engine room. Check this out, air conditioned, massive generators over here on the starboard side. Maverick is fitted with two 80 kilowatt generators and one 35 kilowatt generator. Tanks down there, look. And I love this work area here. Obviously all the switch gear over there, starboard port generator, auxiliary generator, shore power converter over there. Massive workbench. Look, so you can do some of your, uh, your tooling down here if you need to. A vice over there. Another massive generator. Obviously tank underneath that. I've not been up there actually, I didn't. I didn't go up there, I might have a quick look. Obviously port engine here, and over there, starboard engine. But again, like, check out the headroom down here. Absolutely breathtaking engine room. You know, if you're a marine engineer, let me know what you think of this area. I'm pretty sure that this is an area that you could definitely work with. Look at it, look, if I stand over here, and just pan around, you get a real sense of just how big this space is. Down here, we have access into the tank deck. Obviously that goes all the way up to the bow. I'm not gonna go down there just because time constraints, but look, watertight door there. The filter's down over there. And look, let's have a quick look over here. because I didn't ascend these steps when Maria from CDM was showing me around, but let me just have a quick look. Oh, okay, so yeah, look, access door if you need to get down into the engine room uh, from the upper deck. So yeah, there we go. Here's one of Maverick's twin cat C32 Acert engines, each producing 970 kilowatts. This power gives the yacht a top speed of 15.7 knots and a comfortable cruising speed of 12 knots. At 10 knots, Maverick can cover an impressive range of 6,800 nautical miles. But I would imagine that if you reduce the speed down to eight knots, then Maverick would probably have a range nearing 8,000 nautical miles. And that, my friends, is that. I really hope you've enjoyed having a look around. A massive thanks to Maria and to CDM for letting me come on board uh, and do this filming before the show starts. I really, really do appreciate that. Really makes my life a lot easier. Uh, and just quickly, if you're wondering what that is, that is one of the chocks for the tender. So it's carbon fiber chock, Obviously that goes up onto the boat deck when the tender is stowed on board, but obviously as we're at a boat show, the tender's not on board at the moment. But yeah, really, really do hope you've enjoyed the tour. Can't wait to read your comments uh, down below. If you haven't already, please don't forget to give the video a like and please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, let's see if we can get up to 100,000 subscribers. You know, one of the reasons why I always say about subscribing to my channel is when I contact boat builders and owners and say, look, I'd love to feature your boat on my channel. One of the first things they always look at is how many subscribers I've got. So anyway, enough waffling from me. I'm gonna now get off the boat so they can open it up to the thousands of visitors at the Cannes Yachting Festival. But no, I really hope you've enjoyed this tour. Absolutely stunning boat. Um, yeah, blown away. Until next time, fair winds and following seas. If you've got access to a boat you'd like me to feature on my YouTube channel, feel free to get in contact with me 
You'll find my contact details on my website, which is yacht-boy.com. I'll leave a link in the comments. And if you'd like to charter and explore yachts like Maverick, then feel free to get in contact with me. I've teamed up with a well-known charter broker so that I can offer you the experience of a lifetime. I look forward to hearing from you. You'll find all my contact details in the video description or via the link pinned in the comments.